Anderson to Morgan to Dunn. Triple play. All right, here we go. Welcome back, everyone, to day 17 Woo. of the Triple Play Experience. You are with the Youth Ministry Sherpas Coast to Coast podcast. My name is Steve Anderson. I'm joined by Brock Morgan and Shannon Dunn. I'm in Maryland. They are in California experiencing an earthquake today, but still <laughs> taking the time to be with you on this podcast as we go through 21 straight days, answering 21 questions having a blast doing it. We are part of the Download Youth Ministry Podcast family. And uh, today our question is three things you'll never do again. Oh, oh. do we wow. only get to pick one thing? I know there's so many. <laughs> this is 12 so things many. you would never do again. <laughs> 21 <laughs> things you'll never do again. This is our next 21 day straight <laughs> podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, I mean, we were laughing about this before we hit record. We didn't know whether to share like just the dumb things we've done or like the yeah. things we seriously regret. There's, yep. there's so many to choose from. Let's see. Some <laughs> of us will go vulnerable. Some of us won't. Mm, Let's see how it yeah. goes. <laughs> Steve, right. you're up. You're up I first. am up first today. So I'm going to go with a slightly serious one. Something I will never do again is let someone just kind of slide onto the youth leader volunteer team oh yes. that's so easy to yes, do yes it's easy to do i've yep. done it before without the proper like interview setting expectations really choosing and recruiting mm -hmm. them before putting them on the team yep um and i have regretted that decision yep. <laughs> obviously i won't go into the de details of the specifics but it was a, and it wasn't anything like nefarious, but sure. Um, but it rarely turns out. No, because they're it's not rarely like it, uh, the end. Just the end rarely justifies the the means, right? It's just it's never a good idea. Yeah, yeah. you guys both shook your head, so you've experienced this. Oh, Definitely. I've done it. I have done it multiple times. Like, yeah. oh, it would be so good for them. We oh. think we like. Oh, this would yeah. be good for them. Yes. Yeah. Mm. I'm like, I desperately need help and you'll be yes. fine. <laughs> yes. You'll be fine. Don't yeah. ever say you'll be fine. <laughs> They'll grow into it. And just come for a while. They don't. Yeah, just come for a while. And then you there's know. so many excuses. Sometimes I'm like, well, certain kids will really, you know, bond with. And that can be true, right? About certain personalities. But yeah. you can make so many excuses for why. Mm. Be intentional. Oh my goodness. That's a Choose good one. Intentional. Choose your team wisely. Keep, yeah. keep everybody on the same page for the right and, reasons. And, and here's the thing is that our students deserve the cream sure. of the crop adults. Definitely. That's good. Our, That's a good point. Our students deserve the best adults in our church. Absolutely. So like, yeah, go for the best. We tell our students not to settle for any spouse. Yeah. So we should not settle for just <laughs> any youth leader. <laughs> It's so true. All right, oh. who's next? All right, Brock, what do you got? Oh, no, me. Okay. I could go a lot of different directions. Uh, I know. Because when I first started in youth ministry, I was, man, I was still a kid. And I just did, I started so young, like 19. I started wow. in youth work at 19. So we're, I was, I didn't know what I was doing. I drove recklessly in the youth, mm. uh, in the church's van. I. Uh, I mean, I just did all kinds of really stupid, stupid things. <laughs> uh, but let me let me tell you this: I took a job at a church, and because I thought it was my dream job, mm -hmm. um, so I would never just take a job because of um, you think it's the dream scenario. Maybe it's a large church with mm. influence, and. I would never, I would not try to look for upward mobility as a mm. pastor, a minister mm. of the gospel. Um, and, and then let's just say you end up in a dream position. I, I would have serious and regular sit downs with the lead pastor to make sure, because in, in larger, like extremely large churches, you can be gone and no one will notice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so, Has anybody like, seen Brock? 
<laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not joking. Yeah. And mm-hmm. so I just think don't view larger at, at, at and those impressive qualities. I'm never mm-hmm. going to do that again as that's uh, the best or that's the dream or dude, uh, if that were true, Jesus's youth group just kept getting smaller. So um <laughs> There you go. Be be careful with that. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Well, you know, the quick and easy answer was lock-ins. But yes! <laughs> I, which I know is debatable, but I won't do it again personally. But no. I, I'm going to share more personally, vulnerably, a little bit. Shannon, once you hit 40, you'll never do a lock-in again. <laughs> well, I said it at 30, but <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> de- doubly, doubling down on it at 40. And actually, it doesn't have to do with the staying up all night and my age. It actually has to do with the things I've seen happen at a lock-in. <laughs> that were, point. No, yeah. I just am not going to do it again. Now, but let anyways, me ask you this, Shannon. At yeah. what age did sleep become more important to you than uh, the cool thing of staying up all night? Was there I'm, an age where you were like, what is it? Uh, I'm unique. And for me, it was pretty much my whole life that was okay. <laughs> So I'm not the right person to ask that question. Right, but right. There is a, there, for most people, there's like this point where you're I like, think it this was is 30. dumb. Why am I, think, I doing this? Yeah, I think it was 30, probably. <laughs> um, okay, but here's what I want to really say. I won't, again, I've done this twice in my youth ministry career. I have left youth ministry because I thought, life for convenience and simplicity to my life. Right. Mm, And mm. so I, and so I took a job that seemed like, Oh, the hours and the things that'll be simpler. That'll be easier for the season. I'm raising kids. I'm doing these things. Now I believe in making sacrifice for your family if that's necessary. But I just think for me, actually going to a job that was outside of my passion and what I loved, Mm. um, it wasn't actually as good for my family Mm. because it was actually easier, even though the hours may have been more complicated to be within a job that I loved. So I won't do that again. I'm not going to walk away from my passion and my calling for convenience. Yes. Good. Good. That's so good. Yeah. And I would, I would say Shannon, that even for those who think it's another job in the church, often it isn't. It does not mean it's another job in the church. So different. Mm -hmm. So different. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Yeah. That's right. Youth ministry for the long haul, people. Longevity. It's <laughs> the way to go. go. Yeah. All right. Good, All right, this good is job, fun, guys. everyone. We'll be back tomorrow because we are still doing this. We're doing, it. Easier, We're so doing it. We'll be back I'm tomorrow. I'm going to wear the same outfit, though, if that's okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think you Day should. 18. Day 18 tomorrow. Thanks for joining us. See you tomorrow. Bye.